we are very very alive very alive very okay. alive it's early morning after it's crazy yeah. yeah after after a crazy night yeah. at frogs and friends yes. last night announcing the world's best container and helm registry which is now free Free. Which that's is amazing. That's a, yeah, that yes. is amazing. Yeah, so um, come to Jabrock Booth to learn about it. Mm. Uh, but now, DevOps Speak Easy with yeah. a very dear friend, Carl Quinn mm -hmm. from uh, yeah. Zoox. Yep, Zoox. What is Zoox? We are an autonomous vehicle startup. So we are one of the, I guess we are the only play that is developing the vehicle, um, writing all the software, machine learning, AI software, and we are going to operate the service. The service. The service as in um, the ride hailing service. Like in a taxi. Like in a taxi or in an Uber or a Lyft, that Ooh. kind of, but with a robot driving. Nice. So the car just drives by itself, magically. And then you have like, so you don't have a, 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 you don't have a steering wheel, you don't have a, a driver's like seat at all. It's just no. like two couches. Yes, yeah. It's facing each other yes. and we just go in like in a, a, in a carriage. In a carriage, exactly. Wow. So <laughs> you sit there, nice. relax, and you have a controlled temperature, air conditioning, music, the way you want it. Lovely. And you just go, it takes you to where you want to go. It tells you when you're there. This is so cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, tell me, about, since it is DevOps Speakeasy, yeah. so let's talk about the user experience is awesome. Let's talk about some challenges, DevOps challenges. Challenges, okay. Yeah, so I guess during the first phase of our, of our company lifecycle, we are still doing a lot of R&D. We're developing the vehicle. We're developing the software. We have to gather and collect lots of data right now. Yeah. Um, so. Absolutely. Yeah, what I've been working on mostly is, is figuring out how to, how to store that data on the vehicle while we're driving how to offload it, how to get it ingested into the cloud where we store it, mm -hmm. um, how to make it available for different teams for different purposes, some machine learning, some simulation, some just replaying. So it's actually one of the interesting things about having data recorded at this level. It's actually stored as message data, which came from the, the robot itself um, as the different subsystems are communicating. So There's just like messaging like yeah, Kafka or, yeah, or yeah, something? Well, in this case, it's more like um, protobufs being sent back and forth between services uh -huh. in real time. Uh -huh. You know, all, the, all of the sensor input, all of the decision making that's happening or predictions of where all the different agents are going in the scene. Everything that you would need to actually make the decisions and, act, and then activate, actually drive the, the sensors and the uh, drive the actuators to move the car. Right, right, right. All of that's recorded. And it's like it's real time, it's on vehicle. Yes, yes. And so we record it sort of as like a black box, and right. it, but we record everything. And then we save it and store it and we can do various kinds of replays so we can rerun situations that had we want to improve. Well, or, yeah, very um, cool, anything. very cool. And, and so then we run the software offline, so not on the vehicle, but offline, in the cloud or in our data center or on a workstation, a developer can run it but replay the input back from what the, a vehicle did before. Like what were the sensors before in the run we did last Tuesday where we failed to see a dog or something like this that. Is, and and let's, this let's is see so how, cool. Yeah, let's see how our new software works. Like that's how, how we can improve it. Uh, how we measure the quality of our driving um, in many different dimensions and, and incrementally improve it as we go. Um, this is amazing how a very mechanical industry was completely eaten by software, mm -hmm. right? This is like, this is insane. And you look at uh, the difference between Tesla and the other automotive, like classic automotive producers that try to make the same thing. Yeah. And you see, they don't get software. It's so taken it, them a while. I yes. Think. And, and it, yeah, it's interesting to see in the industry. It is, yeah, software is eating the world. Every single industry will be some kind of software company. Right, but or, or I, I think here, here we, we we, that's one of the, the boldest examples. Yeah. How a very mechanical hardware industry mm -hmm. is completely transformed. Right. The difference between the best cars and the rest is how those companies understand software of all things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's and when you, when you compare like Tesla with Jaguar, and you say what's the difference between a Model 3 and the, and the Pace, you realize that the, 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 the difference is the software. Right. That's yeah, and the Tesla side, that's kind of their first, it is like a, an iPad on wheels, right? Exactly, yeah. Um, but the experience, everybody's kind of used to the experience of, 
oh, my iPad updates itself, or my iPhone, or my Nexus, right? It's exactly. They update the software, all the, all the apps update, the software updates. That's the liquid it software. Just gets better, that's the yeah. continuous better update. Better and better, yeah. yeah. And so that's what happens to my Model 3. It's every day I come in, well, not every day, but at least once a week, there's something new. We're working on making yes. it every day. With continuous software and liquid software. It would be good software. to have it yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, or little fixes, anything that, you know, so it's always improving. And, uh, and that's, and, and, and then people, they, they used to think about their cars as like an investment that depreciates. Right. And then you see the shift even in people who don't get software, like, oh, my car is actually getting better. It yeah. depreciates instead of depreciating. But hey, you had it in your phone for a decade now, right. and you never thought in these categories. Right. And this right. is so interesting how now software actually em uh, it emerges with concept which used nothing to do with software and brings value everywhere. Right. This is right. like, this is so cool. And the hardware is, I guess, becoming more and more commodity. Like, what does it take to build a vehicle? Yeah, They're all kind well, of the same, right? Everybody know what it takes to build a vehicle. Yeah. But making it, uh, making it smart, and this making is how you build, uh, just this is where you build. Making the vehicle sort of accommodate the human. Yep. So it open, the doors open when you walk up, and you sit down and knows which driver you are, and everything adjusts automatically. And, and it's all software. Yeah, it's this all software, yeah. This is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, on the continuous update note, what are your plans? How do you update your, your, your future vehicles? Well, currently, um, we update them more like on a daily basis. So we, we image them Which is also like, which is already 14 times better than the best in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> well, because we are, in our case, we're operating a fleet of vehicles. So they have to come home every night. Right. They have to be charged. They'll need mechanical service or cleaning, things like that. And so that'll be the opportunity when we want to update them. But yeah. we're still going to have a fleet of hundreds or thousands of vehicles that need updating every night, right, maybe, right, or right. every couple of days. Yeah. So we will have to think about how do we push and cache all of those you know, software versions out to the different like warehouses and charging centers that we have so it's ready when the vehicles come in. Exactly, they exactly. They can update while they're yeah. charging and everything just happens. Yeah. This is so exciting. I'm looking forward for your launch. Mm -hmm. I'll be one of the early adopters for sure. Oh yeah? Again, because I believe in the software that runs behind it, and I think yeah. that's, the, that's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. So, exciting, looking forward. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, and we stop.